Good morning, you guys. Happy Tuesday. It is July 2nd, and we have just launched a new July kudos. So I'm going to show you all of the goodies that go in there, and you guys can take a peek and see how I use them for a number of different things. Um, so this month's July kudos, you get a 50, what is this? 50 milliliter? I don't even know if that's right. You get the large rose water toning spritz. You get either a liquid touch foundation or a pressed powder foundation, and you get a blush of your choice. So I'm gonna show you how I use the pressed powders, the liquid foundation, the blushes, and all of that kind of stuff to kind of have an easy peasy look for today. We're taking the kids to a dairy farm. And I'm super excited because I love cows personally. And these people do like at home milk delivery. And what else do they do? I'm just going to start with a little primer so we can let it sit on our face while we chit chat. Um, so they do milk deliveries. They make their own cheese um, and ice cream too, I believe. So a little bit of Touch Glorious Primer. Never forget your primer. It makes all the difference in the world. Um... They also do fresh eggs, produce, baked goods, meat, all of that kind of stuff. So I'm super excited. It's called King Brothers Dairy and it's in Schuylerville. So can't wait to go and get the tour. I know I seem high maintenance at times, but I tell you, I'm never happier than when I am like around animals. It is truly my happy place. Okay, so primer should sit on your face for a couple of minutes before you do anything else. So the deal is I'm going to use the liquid foundation because I want to show you different ways that you can package the kudos depending on what you already have in your makeup routine and what you like to use. So I'm going to use the liquid touch foundation for my whole face. I'm going to use the gingham pressed powder to do my contour with and I'm going to use the scarlet pressed powder to do my highlight with. And I'm gonna set all of my makeup with the rose water because we're gonna have a powder finish on everything. And when you set a powder finish with the rose water, it gives you more of a dewy and glowy appearance. Um, the other thing I'm gonna do while I wait for um, the primer to set is I'm just gonna exfoliate my lips really quick. Because I'm gonna put a little hottie lip plumper on. Um, I'm gonna go in with my one of my favorite blushes, which is um, stunning. Mine's always really hard to open. So stunning is this really bright pink and that's going to be my color for today. So I'm not going to go wild on other colors for my eyes or my lips. Everything else is going to be pretty neutral. But because of that, we want it to be flawless. So I'm going to go in with Hottie Lip Plumper next. which is just this clear, glorious gel. When you clean your lips off and you get all the dead skin off, it helps this to work 100% better. And it brings all the blood to the surface of your lips so that it just works better. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit of hottie all over and wait for it to work while we do the rest of our lips. So this is going to make your lips swell and give you a poutier lip appearance. All right, beautiful. Get these things out of my way so I don't pick them up again. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is shake up my liquid foundation. This is in the shade Eyelet, and this is a mineral-based, so I'm gonna to wanna to dump the plunger a few times and give it a good shake. Because it's mineral and it's not just like a whole bunch of chemicals mixed together, it is going to separate because they're natural products and then you wanna shake them back together. So I'm just going to put a little bit on the back of my hand and that's kind of what I grab from. So I'm gonna place it on my skin where I want to blend it in. I will tell you this right now, if you've never used our Liquid Touch Foundation, it's called, it's quote, a water weight foundation. So when you put it on, you're gonna be like, wow, this is really watery and runny. It's supposed to be because it is not going to be a really heavy, thick formula. Um, when you put it on, it is full coverage and it's buildable coverage. So if you don't want a crazy, like you can definitely cover up, hi Nicole, you can even cover up 
tattoos and things like that depending on the coverage you use but if you this is sort of like the bare minimum you're going to still get great full coverage look you're just not going to have that cakey look all right so this is a eco tool sponge i just wash it with wa water and hand soap and it's got a little bit of dampness in it and i'm just going to use the sponge to blend out my liquid foundation Having a little bit of dampness makes everything just kind of blend out that much easier. And I'm just pressing it into my skin. I'm not smearing it around. And if you don't know what shade to pick, just send me a message or comment color match below and then I can um, color match you with a recent selfie. You can have makeup on, you can not have makeup on, whatever you want just has to be in good lighting and filter free no like puppy dog ears or anything hi amber okay so the liquid touch is all blended in and you can see that it just it goes on really really easily and i just always make sure that i go and blend it down my neck just a little bit so that you don't have that weird differentiation between your face and the rest of your body okay so the next thing i'm going to do is go in with my contour powder hi how are you so I'm going in with the shade gingham so this is a pressed powder foundation I just picked it in the shade gingham because it's about two to three shades darker than my foundation and it's gonna give me a nice chisel on my cheekbones so I'm going in right on that cheekbone sort of at the top of my ear down towards the corner of my mouth and feeling for that crevice. The thing that I like about pressed powder for contour is you can really tailor the color because we have so many different colors of pressed powders. It's full coverage, so it's gonna give you extra coverage. And if you like a more matte finish and you don't wanna glow like a bronzer gives you, you're able to get around that using pressed powder. It also is a little bit like of a deeper a deeper contour so go around my forehead and jawline don't forget your jawline so this is just with contour so this is another way to use pressed powder if you have a foundation powder that you absolutely love you don't need another one grab a pressed powder for highlight and contour blend it down your neck the jawline really makes such a huge difference especially in photos gotta say and I don't do I didn't pick a super aggressive shade I mean there are some people who pick like this to contour with that's just not me I know my limits I'm I don't like a really really aggressive blend on there so I go with something that's about two to three shades darker now, highlight, however, I will always pick Scarlet. Scarlet is the lightest, brightest kind of color that we have. So I'm gonna use this pressed powder to do my under eyes and my T-zone with. So I'm just using a powder brush and I'm gonna press this onto my under eye and you can see how it brightens it up. The other thing I love about using a pressed powder to highlight with is I never experience any creasing whatsoever. So for ladies who have oily skin or women who experience a fair amount of creasing on their under eyes because of fine lines and wrinkles, I feel like this is a really great option. I'm just gonna make sure to go up onto my temple because that kind of gives you like a slimmer appearance on your face on my chin down my nose I didn't even contour the sides of my nose we'll have to go back and do that whoops and on my forehead Okay, so I'm gonna grab that pressed powder again. 
because I was going to do some of this down the sides of my nose. And I was also going to pop a little of this in the crease of my eye. There are more than one way to use powders, not just for foundation, my friends. I love powder, especially in the summer when it gets really, really hot because especially if you have oily skin, it's going to not run ever. All right, so we are good now on foundation, highlight, and contour. And you could just leave it at this and leave and you would still have a totally flawless look. But this is my super cheap makeup tip. Take a big fluffy blending brush with nothing on it and just make sure that you go once over your face to make sure that you diffuse out any really harsh lines and kind of blend them together. It makes all the difference in the world. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with my favorite blush, which is stunning. It's super obnoxious, is it not? Don't even worry about it. I touch it once, so clean brush. There's plenty of makeup on it now. I tap off extra. and blend it in. It gives the prettiest pink glow without being extra. It's the best. Hi, Edith. Um, I love this shade because it's completely unassuming, but at the same time, there's so much pigment in it. If you want it to be extra, you certainly could be. It's not my personal style, but you could definitely pull it off. Hi, Amina. All right, so let's do brows now. I'm going to go in with the Brow Obsession Palette in Brunette, using this forever and ever. It's the best brow product on the market, as well as the Brow Artist Brush. I sell this to everyone in droves, and I've never had a negative comment about it. This palette has lasted 18 months. And I'm just gonna do a very simple powder brow today, so I'm not gonna add any of the gel to it. I love the gel, but I save it for kind of special occasions where I want a really sharp brow look um, or a super, super defined brow look. But for every day and certainly going to a dairy farm today, I don't need to be that extra. But I like the brow palette because I can really blend colors together depending on how light or dark I want my brow to be. And the best part is that you can use it more so to like fade your brows in because I like in the front where I'm doing right now, I like there to be sort of a natural softness in the front, like your brows naturally grow in. I don't like big, thick, chunky brows in the front. And the Brow Artist Brush and the palette allows me to do that. So, such a huge difference. It's not aggressive, it's really easy to do. Give yourself two or three times doing it and I promise you will never go back to a brow pencil. And I hate to say that because I sell brow pencils. Unique has great brow pencils, but they're nowhere near as good as the palette. No brow pencil is as good as this palette. Not even those $50 Anastasia ones, not as good. So you want the arch and the tail of your brow to be the darkest and fullest part. So that's why I always add a little bit of extra product when I go in and fill in the arch. And then I use what's left over on my brush and already on my brow to fill in the front. Like so. Easy, easy, easy. It wouldn't be a video by me if I didn't drop something every time. All right, so I grabbed two shadows that I'm going to add to my eye look today. The only thing I added so far was my contour color in the crease of my eye, but I'm going to add a stew, 
which is this like caramel light brown and then delirious which is this beautiful pink to highlight with so I'm gonna grab a little bit of a stew on my blending brush and blend this right into the crease and right over my whole lid like I said we're going for a very natural look today we just wanted our cheek to pop a little bit And now I'm going to add Delirious, which is this really pink champagne shimmer. It's like a soft pink. And I'm just going to do that with my finger. And I'm going to put that right on the lid of my eye from the front right to the center. Just for a little glow. And because it's pink, it's sort of like a flesh tone pink. It doesn't appear like obnoxious. Like when we used to get into nightclubs at 16 years old with blue eyeshadow on, looking like a frightful mess. Okay, 4D mascara time. Epic 4D. If you haven't tried it, you should. I have eight of them sitting right here. If you want one, I can ship one or meet you with one. I can't use any other mascara from now until forever. This 4D is it. Okay. So I always do two coats of mascara. The first coat kind of acts like a primer. And then the second coat is where it really lengthens and separates and makes everything amazing in the world happen. Okay. It's crazy the kind of length that you get with this mascara. Okay, so now for coat number two. Gosh, amazing. I use this every day and yet I'm still shocked when I put it on how much I like it. Oops. This is the one risk with using this is it's so easy to get the top of your eye with it because it makes your lashes so long. And then I'm going to take what I have left over on my wand at the end and just do my lower lashes. They look fake. They really, really look fake. Even more so in person, if you can believe it. Okay, lower lashes done. All right, so let's take off the Huddy Lip Plumper because it's done its job. And I'm just gonna touch up this area so it's not red from wiping this off with my Scarlet Foundation. And now we're gonna go in with highlighter. <clears throat> so I'm gonna use, you know what, I'm gonna use my Unique Cooling while it's still available. So this is the Beachfront Cooling Highlighter, and I love it. I'm just gonna put a little bit right here on my cheekbone. nose 
nose and a little on the tip of my nose. It just gives your skin like the nicest glow. It's very real. It doesn't look like you just trampled through the unicorn forest at a rave or something like that. You know, I've seen that. I'm not into it. All right, so I'm going in with Prudent Lip Liner and Lux Lip Gloss. So the reason that I'm going super neutral, I promised you, we were going to a farm. I didn't want to be that extra. So I'm literally going to fill in my entire lip with Prudent Lip Liner. which glides on like butter. And I love lip liner because it really helps you to define your lips and keep your product on longer. And it just looks better. All right, so lips are fully filled in with Prudent. And now I'm going in with Lux Lip Gloss. Lucrative Lip Gloss in the shade Lux. super neutral lip. Like this is the perfect easy lip. All right. Last but not least, dropping more things. Story of my life. So I'm going in with rose water. This comes in this month's kudos bundle. So I'm going to set my entire face with this rose water. Mind you, I use this every morning and every night after I wash my face because it's also a toner for your skin. You can see my face is actually wet. What this is gonna do, if you have a powder finish, but you don't want to look powdery, you add a little rose water, and what it does is it sets your makeup and it makes it glow. So it gives you sort of like a dewy appearance. And I know a lot of people that need to wear pressed powders don't like looking powdery. Luckily, our powder foundations are really very velvety and silky, so I don't feel like they ever give you a dry look. But I've never found a product before that could make a powder look dewy. And these two things together, the Touch Press Powder Foundation and the Rose Water, are able to achieve that. All right, so that is our Tuesday going to a farm look. I will take an unfiltered selfie, although the lighting outside is abysmal right now. So I'll take a selfie either in my ring light or in front of a window and I will post all the products that I use today. If you guys have any questions or you want to be shade matched or you just kind of don't know where to start, certainly let me know. Shoot me a message. Um, also this month is all of our presenters kits. We have three of them are 20% off. So if you, you have two options. You can be a kit napper, which means you buy the kit and then you can buy all of your unique products from that point forward from yourself. Um, and get the discounts and get the uh, commissions from doing so. Or if you're interested in selling it, you can buy the kit and literally five minutes later, start your own business. Like it really goes that fast. You don't have to even wait for it to come. So um, those two options are available. Again, the kits are 20% off this July only. Um, I can drop uh, my join link on this as well. But if you need to be color matched, shoot me a message or comment hashtag color match below and then I can send you a message. Or if you're interested in joining, certainly get a hold of me and I can answer any questions that you have. There is never any sales quotas, anybody who's going to push you to sell something or to make a goal or anything like that. Your goals are your goals and I'm not going to ever breathe down your neck to force something like that on you. Um, so the only thing that you need to stay active and unique is if you're a presenter, you have to do $125 worth of 
sales can be from yourself or it can be from anyone else in three months so there's never auto ships you don't have to buy something every single month like other businesses do where the only way you get a paycheck is if you spend a hundred dollars that month that's not the case whatsoever so if you have any questions certainly let me know it's one of the best decisions that i ever made because i can do this completely on my own time i could do i watch people do live videos at 11 30 at night and their viewership is through the roof because people aren't doing anything else that time of night so there's a lot of different options for you you don't have to do lives you don't have to do anything if you don't want to you can just buy your own makeup and skincare from yourself so that's the end of that spiel but if you have questions on it certainly let me know and i'm happy to help you other than that you will see me later at a dairy farm i love you guys and i'll see you back here on thursday the 4th of july